Hello future editors, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're still new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and to your friends' friends. That's the only way you can keep me going, refreshed and inspired. And if you like my videos, if they're important to your studies, also please don't forget to subscribe. So this problem was uh, a problem in the CE board November 1998 and it came out again in November 2008. In this video, I would like to solve this by the force method, but we will solve this again by the principle of least work using the method of least work so that uh, the solution will be shorter but I need to present the method of the force method in this case so determine the bar force of member BD AE is 10,000 kilonewtons so this is member BD so the first step is to remove BD and apply uh, force P which is invented because I'm going to solve this by Cassegrain second theorem so that we can compute the relative displacement between joints B and D. But before that, let's solve for the reactions, summation forces X, so of course, this should be 10 to the left, and reaction at D times 3 equals 10 times 3, so this is also 10 upward, so summation forces Y at A, it should be 10 downward also. Beginning with joint B, some the slope of these diagonals, the slope is 1 as to 1. So beginning with joint B, these are the forces denoted by S means stress. So summation forces X0, SBC plus P times 1 over square root of 2 equals 0. So SBC is negative B over square root of 2. So I should have uh, allow you to solve it and just write the stresses because this is already statics but for this case anyway we'll have a statics summation forces y downward positive so sab plus p times 1 over square root of 2 equals 0 so sab is also negative p over square root of 2 we proceed to join c Summation forces X, so 10 minus SAC times 1 over square root of 2 minus SBC, which is negative P over square root of 2, equals 0. So that means SAC is 10 square root of 2 plus P. Then Next is take note that S that this P here is invented and there is no member BD. Take note of that. Summation forces Y equals zero downward positive. So S C D plus quantity ten square root of two plus P times one over square root of two vertical component of S A C equals zero. So S C D is equal to negative 10 minus p over square root of 2 then at joint d to solve for sed let sum of forces horizontal 0 this is the last member leftward positive so sed plus p times 1 over square root of 2 equals 0 so sed is equal to negative b over square root of 2. So I leave to you the checking summation forces vertical at T should be 0. Summation forces X at A equals 0. It should be 0. And summation forces Y must be 0 to verify that these stresses are correct. Now because there are only two members that have this constants, remember that P is invented. 
therefore the partial derivative would be zero. So when we tabulate, so let's check at, at D, summation for SSX, at A rather, so SAD negative B over square root of 2 plus SAC which is 10 square root of 2 plus B times 1 over square root of 2 then minus 10 so if you check that's 0 summation forces Y at A then we have SAB which is negative B over square root of 2 plus vertical component of SAC 10 square root of 2 plus B times 1 over square root of 2, then minus 10, and it is also 0. So that checks. I suppose not to check it, but let's just check. Anyway, there are only two members involved, SAC and SED. The rest will be 0 when we, when we have to set P0. So after tabulating, we only enter, so we have member, that's S in kilonewtons, partial of S with respect to P, then the length in meters, and the product S, partial of S with respect to P times length. This should be in kilonewton meter. So the members to be involved will be AC and CD only. So 10 square root of 2 plus P, partial derivative is 1. The length of AC is 3 square root of 3 square plus 3 square so that would be 3 square root of 2 then when we obtain this product take note that we set P0 that's why this member has a value of uh, 10 square root of 2 times 1 times 3 square root of 2 that would be 60 30 times 2 so 60 then the rest for example SPC negative p square root of 2, but p is 0, so that's why the whole of this 0, so it's useless. We only involve the 2, s, c, d. Negative 10 minus p over square root of 2, so the derivative is negative 1 over square root of 2. The length is 3, and the product after setting p0 is 30 over square root of 2 or 15 square root of 2. So therefore, the sum of S, partial of S, with respect to P times length in decimal is 60 plus 15 square root of 2 or that, that's 81.213 kilonewton meter. Then delta B with respect to D, the relative displacement with B and D is 81.213 divided by AE, which is 10,000, so that would be 0 0.008123 meter or 8.121213 mm. For the second part, P, let's now have the force in BD employed, and it is part of the system already, and P here is 1. For this member so that we can compute the relative displacement between B and D for a unit load 1. So that's the principle by the first method. So beginning with P, it's the same because P is 1, therefore SBC is equal to negative 1 over square root of 2 or negative B over square root of 2. So these are the forces. SAB is you just set P1, so negative 1 over square root of 2. SAC, since there is no more no more 10 kilonewtons here after removing the load, so it's just P. SAC is just P or 1. That's why you have here 1. SCD is the same negative 1 over square root of 2 after we remove negative 10 because there's no more negative 10 there and SAD SAD was this one so P is 1 so negative 1 over square root of 2 then finally remember BD is 
T or 1. So in, there are six members involved this time. So this was the result in the preceding slides. So summation of S partial of S with respect to L over A e was the relative displacement of B relative to the 81.213 over AE. Now for the second part due to the unit load, so we have member S, partial of S with respect to P, the length, then the product. S, partial of S with respect to P, length. So in alphabetical order, AEP, it's negative P over square root of 2. The derivative is negative 1 over square root of 2. The length is 3. Then the product, take note P is 1, is 3 halves or 1.5. Then AC. AC is P. Derivative is 1. Length is 3 square root of 2. Since P is 1, so the product is 3 square root of 2. Then AD, negative P over square root of 2, negative 1 over square root of 2 here. Length 3, so 3 halves or 1.5. Then BC, negative P over square root of 2, negative 1 over square root of 2. Length is 3, so it's also 1.5. Then BD, it's P, derivative 1, length 3 square root of 2, so 3 square root of 2. Finally, CD, it's negative 1 over square root, negative B over square root of 2, negative 1 over square root of 2. Length is 3, so it's 3 halves or 1.5. Therefore, we can solve now the summation. S partial of S with respect to P length over AE is also FBD from a first method. It is 14.485 over AE. So the compatibility equation, FBD times stress in BD plus delta B relative to D equals zero. Substitute. So 14.485 over AE, SVD plus uh, 81.213 over AE equals 0, cancel out AE. So SVD is negative, so that means it is a compression member. So SVD therefore is equal to 5.607 kN compression. So that's it for this problem.